fantastic, man. Good to see you in person, my friend. So uh, I have a statement and then a question. Sure. My statement is, is I truly believe that you should only trust people who want to get into government who are not seeking more power. Right. They just want to give it back to they the just people. just want to give it back, and, yeah. And I really wanted to just say that I'm glad that you and Joe understand the three first words that were on the Constitution, which is we, the people. All right? And I'm tired of this. Tired of the red, blue pill. Done. Thank you, Terry. Thank you. Let's, let's enact some real change. Yep. Okay. My question is, is how, as civilians and citizens, how can we get Joe onto the debate stage so she can actually speak about these values and intelligent points of view to fix these problems? What can we, as civilians, do to help you guys so she can have her word heard by the entire American people? Well, so here is the thing, and thank you for that question. And what we have been saying up until recently is, if you get called by the opinion poll companies, you tell them that you're voting for Joe Jorgensen. And if they say, well, she's not on there, say, well, put her on there because that's who I'm voting for. Uh, and tell others to do the same thing. Even if they don't, aren't sure they wanna vote for us, even if they think they might vote lesser of two evils, if they don't like that they're just given the same two terrible options every cycle, if they're sick of having to vote for a lesser evil and just getting more and more evil as a result of that, then just say you're voting for Joe Jorgensen. And if they say she's not on there, say, put her on there because that's who I'm voting for. Here's what we've seen. They're systemically shutting Joe's name out of the polling. And this is unprecedented. We have never seen before, even in election cycles where the support for third party candidates was markedly lower, we've never seen them across the board refusing to put someone's name on the ballot. And we have every reason to understand why. A couple of weeks after Joe and I got the nomination, there was a poll that came out and we were already polling in the high single digits and low double digits and other ones. People didn't even know who we were, but they voted for us because we weren't Joe Biden or Donald Trump. There was a recent Gallup poll where 25% of, or 23, I keep forgetting, see the 23 or 25% of Americans said, volunteered the answer that they didn't like Joe Biden or Donald Trump. They weren't given a third option. If they had been given a ham sandwich and a cheese taco as their third option, it probably would have gotten 15%. When 23% are saying flat out volunteering, I, not, not being told that's an option, volunteering, I do not like either of these options and refuse to give either one when they're being told, oh no, we're only giving two options. Well, I don't like those options. They volunteered it. No one with any sense could say that if we were put on that poll or any of these other polls, we wouldn't be easily getting the 15% that we need to get to qualify. And they know that too. And that's why they've left us off. And we're pretty much now where I think Labor Day or shortly after Labor Day was the cutoff. So we are pretty much approaching the point where they have effectively demonstrated that they are going to act as a cartel and not allow the only viable choice for the White House to be on the debate stage. Even as we are about any day now, if we haven't already, because I haven't checked today, we're already on all 49 states plus DC and Guam and we, in Rhode Island, had to turn in a thousand uh, valid signatures. We turned in 1,800, and last I checked, 700 of them were already verified. So at last check, and it's probably even closer now, and we may already be verified at this point, we were 300 verified votes out of 1,500 away from being able to say that we will be on all 50 state ballots plus DC and Guam for the first time in eight years, because in 2016 we weren't on Guam. Uh, and uh, all 50 state ballots plus DC and Guam during a pandemic when it was exponentially more difficult to get the signatures we needed and they fought us at every step, we still got on. We